Uh, we've successfully made our traverse of suburbia and now we're heading towards the Ward Reservation. Chipmunks are going nuts. There seems to be a chorus. We came from that direction and the little suburban street of Corinthian Way and the Mary French and now we're skirting the edge of another striking wetland before ending up on top of the Colt Hill. Startled a bunch of amphibians. Look at this. This is kind of a. Oh, look, it's an ancient beaver, beaver dam. Is the call of, cause of all this bother. And over here, they've got various remedies in place to mitigate beaver problems. The distant tower is the top of Holt Hill. <laughs> the beavers drowned the stone wall. It's been interesting. This is just yet another facet of the whole phenomenon of species recovery after we hunted it all within an inch of its life. Yeah, leave the things alone for a hundred years or more and they come back like crazy. It's strange to see all the creatures of my youth that I would have considered myself lucky to have run into. Deer, beavers, moose, coyotes, fox. You name it, all that stuff had been half exterminated when I was a kid in the 60s. Now it's back in force, it's kind of hilarious. So it's become a different angle on wildlife management. It's sort of become a focus on forms of crowd control. <laughs> Beaver mitigation. <laughs> the deer are taking off. What do you do? Ah. <laughs> We've gone from a paucity to a plenty. It looks like something was trying to dig up a chipmunk for lunch. <laughs> no chipmunk would make a hole that big.
It's just been a popular spot. For various testimonies. Kilroy was here. The old style hearts and so and so love so and so seem to have given away to the simple mawkish anxiety to at least some tiny trace to existed. It's almost like the Samuel Beckett story. Oh man, this is all chipmunk. <laughs> You're laying low now. Oh, it's the I'm scurrying. It's really scary <laughs> noise. Mm -hmm. Disasters we've had over the past couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I think this is all created by bored beavers. <laughs> and it's heartily endorsed by hyperactive amphibians and a turtle or two, no doubt. 